Greetings, adventurers, and welcome back to the quest. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you are, I hope you're doing well. We're finally back in Night City here. Just finished that uh, whole series for the beginning of the game where you uh, get the chip and get Keanu Reeves in your head. That's where we're at. Played a lot of God of War Ragnarok, but we finally beat it. Back to some other games. Takebura here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. I am waiting. Oh, my vehicle's available in the parking garage. The best weapon against capitalism is uninterrupted meditation. Good to know. Cut the bullshit! Just open up! We came here as colleagues, nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while. We're worried. No, now leave me alone! Congrats, Mendez. Way to be loyal. Oh, what? So I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one who's holed up playing the attention. Is this a job? Did I just get that? Oh, I can level up. Uh, blades. We're gonna go get a blade somehow. It's about blades. I'm buying it. We're going full cyberpunk samurai. Seems like the PD's taking an interest in the neighbor of yours. Okay, yeah, that's it. Let's talk to him, see what's up. Someone in this tower go cuckoo again? This is a private matter, so just move along. Wait, she might know Barry. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Petrova. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure thing. Sure, why not? Not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. I'll see what I can do. I remember this, and I feel like I failed it the first time I did it. Hey, Barry? Everything all right in there? I'm gonna take that as a yes. <sighs> Try again later. Try talking to Barry in a few hours. Is there a wait in this game? Can I wait? Skip time. Um, I want to wait. It's 9.23. What the hell? I can't wait one hour? Why is it so hard? What happened? Where'd everybody go? The cops just left? Okay. Let's skip another hour. Okay, let's skip another hour. It does say a few. I don't know how many hours a few is, but... Okay, there we go. Barry? Am I remembering that right? Who is it? V! Your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then, you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. 
I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a gonk thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? Okay. Let's do this one. Just wanted to see what's shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. Think I've got an inkling as to why. Seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. Yeah, I just lost Jackie. Until it hits someone you're close to. <sighs> you too. Come in. Ah, shit. We're in the apartment. I'm pretty sure I failed this quest on my uh, first playthrough. I must have, like, waited too long. Because he definitely will just uh, do the act. If you're not careful. Okay, let's talk to him before I start looting his place. I lost someone close to me, too. Damn good friend. That's only fair. What do you mean, too? Wait. It's about Andrew. He, uh... Told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly? thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. We have to forget the dead? That seems pretty callous. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive. If you felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. That was sure quick. Thing. Take care. Talk to the cops. Alright. Let's see what you're hiding on your computer. That's the reason I came in here. Files. Huh. I don't know. I don't know what the significance of any of that is. It's got four messages, too. Beer? Barry, what the hell are you babbling about? Pull yourself together, Chun. Guy's gotta be tough. Oh, this is the guy outside. Especially in this goddamn city. I don't know what kind of... Telenov... Telenovelus? Telenovelus you've been watching. But this sad sack bullshit ends now. You and I are going for a beer. How's this Thursday? That's from the girl outside. Hey, Barry, just want to check in, see if everything's okay. This is from the same person. And then... That's the reply. I don't want to talk to any of you. Alright, well, you better be okay. Why are you taller than me? Where are the cops at? Oh, they moved over here. <laughs> it's you. You talked to Barry. He finally decided to get his shit together. Cry out loud, Mendez. Oh, 
We had a little chat. He seems chilled, but seriously down in the dumps. Think he's got a bone to pick with Mendez. What? So why doesn't he say so to my face? Clearly, he couldn't stand his job and didn't have anyone to talk to about it. He said you didn't even try to understand him. See? Was I right? Uh, give me a break. Barry likes playing the drama queen. You just gotta shake some sense into him, trust me. We'll see. We'll have to check in on him later. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Why did it say that was an enemy hack? That was weird. Try talking to Barry in a few hours. Okay. So this time we're gonna wait two hours. Nope. One more. I'm pretty sure it was three last time, wasn't it? Okay. Another hour. How many hours do I have to wait? There we go. Barry. Barry, you fucking asshole! I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Is this like unavoidable then? It's too late. He can't hear you. Your genes were fine, Barry. You were the strongest son of a bitch I knew. I'm so... I'm so sorry, Barry. I... Did she just teleport? <laughs> I'm sorry. God damn it, Barry. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I, like, I tried. What do we got? Fetch your vehicle from the parking garage. Where does it want me to go? Oh, to the elevator, probably. And rush to the nearest door for a taste of sweet, 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 clean speed. Cause life is too short. Hello, I'm Eric McBuff with WNS News. Today is a sad one in our city's history. Mayor Lucius Ryan has passed away. We learned of Mayor Ryan's death from his Darn. He died the mayor passed. Unfortunate. Also, his lips are not matching up here. Sums up. Is it making me listen to this? I promise to do everything no. in my power I... to ensure his... Guess not. It seemed like the door wasn't opening, but I guess I just didn't get close enough. Whoops. I want to get in the car, not on the car. Hey, who are you? <laughs> Johnny, did you see what happened? Something feels off here. You don't say. I don't mean the wreck, I mean... The run. City's most courteous chauffeur up and drives away from the scene of an accident. Okay, my car is totaled now, I guess? What the hell? <laughs> Please accept our sincerest apologies regarding traffic incident, whatever that is. The Delamine Corporation cordially invites you to its main headquarters in order to assess damages and arrange compensation. Let's do it. To the HQ! I'll just steal a car. No worries. What is this? Regina sent me something. That's a new job. Uh, okay, she sent me an offer to buy a car. That's right. The hell are you wearing? Wow. Whoa! I'm taking your car. Just because of that. Get out of here. Why is it tracking that? I don't want to track that. Go to Delamain HQ. Danger high. Oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry. I don't know why it's 
switch camp. There we go. Police warrant issued. Pardon me. Wow, this van handles like a fucking tricycle. <laughs> it's not me, it's the van, I swear. Like, I can't... I have to do the most minute turns. Oh, it wants me to go this way for some reason? Excuse me. I thought I saw the Mass Effect N7 on a building for a second. That would have been cool. That's a wall. Who's this? You don't know me, but you will. Name's Dino. Deal with downtown, City Center. V. Yeah, I know. What about you? Hot stuff. Need anything you call me. Remember, Dino knows everybody. Okay. I'll give Dino a call at some point. I wanted to steal that car. Get back here. Look how fast he is. Okay, perfect. Yeah, stay stay right there. That's perfect. You know what actually? You can keep your car. I want this one. Oh. Pardon me. I didn't even knock that guy out. It was the other guy. Ah, see, this is nice. This handles way better than that fucking van. That's my turn. That is an ugly outfit. Not you. The girl who was in yellow. What did I just... It, like, caught the edge of that barrier somehow. You'd think the police in the future would be able to keep up with me a little bit better than these guys do. Oh, I don't have any fucking health. Maybe I shouldn't be talking. <laughs> nice to meet you. Call you back. You were saying. I like people who understand the value of respect. We'll be in touch, me. Wow, good thing I called him back. That was pretty important. Out of the way. Did you just tell me to get out of the way? I'm in a car. Also, I didn't even hit you. It's, she's insurance scamming. Now I'm gonna run you over. Oh, never mind. She teleported on top of the car. What do you mean? It wasn't me. You have no evidence. Exactly. She jumped on my car. Why are there cops right in front of my objective? Can I just, like, do it anyway? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna walk in. <laughs> Where'd he go? He'll run you out of business. Would you be so kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information? Fuck you, Cirk Brain! Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Uh... Hey, doll. Hello, sir or madam. How can I be of hey, service? Hey, hey! She was last in line. Yeah? Well, now I'm first in line, bitch. What's gotten into you, Dell? Don't recognize me? You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamain network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? Don't give them any numbers. That's how they find you. Who? Uh, Listen, I want to talk to Delamain. Talk to Delamain. You are currently being assisted. Your identity has been confirmed based on a facial recognition scan. 
Mrs. Elaine Pagels, what phrase would best describe your experience of incident number 771111? It's got to say the entire incident number. Prima accident, I shit green apples. Now get me the real Delamain. What does that even mean? <laughs> v, my apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Would you mind if we spoke elsewhere? Sure, let's talk. Then please follow the drone. Yeah, you're all uh, second class. Sorry I'm to tell you. Aware customer service is less than satisfactory at the moment. Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. I really don't care about a tour, to be completely is. honest. The shop is fully automated. Pondering broadening my portfolio to include repair services. Alas, the shop is currently overwhelmed with work. I think I know why. I'm still looking into the cause of the Delamay network vehicle failures. My working hypothesis is an advanced virus. I must resolve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proving costly, aside from drawing unwanted attention to the company. A company run by an AI. What are we doing? Stupid drone. Can we go faster? The control room. I feel honored to have you here. Rather, surprisingly. Yeah, I don't know why. All these lights. What are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones can't take care of this? This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Okay, sure. I'll go after your missing wheels. I remember this being I'm pretty easy. To hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. Garage. So Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability on your person. Give me the scanner. What else you hiding in here? No, two hundred and five uh, e tokens. Whatever the currency is called. Why do I feel like I'm dropping frames? I don't have any ammo for that. Uh, let's just go do this. Go talk to this boy or guy. God, I remember this fast travel system being a pain in the ass. I I don't know where I'm going. Let's go to I guess ground floor first. Who's looking at me? Oh, because I have my gun out. How do I put the gun away? Do I really have to click that? There's gotta be an easier way.
Hey, guy. Sit. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Look at this dude in the Why background do you with believe the hamburger. She could help you remove the chip. Does a corporation help her? He's just kind of like rubbing it on his face. <laughs> That's the uh, 2077 yeah, TikTok me. trend, dude. You don't eat your food, you rub it on your face. There's been dumber trends than that. Don't think so, no. Can you expand? Don't matter how much perfume a corpo sprays on mornings, by lunch that's replaced by the stench of skullduggery. Only thing I caught from Evelyn was determination. And I do stink of skullduggery? Nope. You're starting to stink. Period. <sighs> Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose. B, so. wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say, if I no? say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing that before waitress we is taking the order from a guy a who's currently location. rubbing a hamburger on his face. Certain. Procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Kind of people. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear. Ah, uh, it's hot. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. How does he know that this is something he wants to watch so fast? Also, that lady, like, he's blocking her now, but she's just sitting there staring straight forward. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scum is everywhere. 
Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. That's the type of guy who ends up dead, for sure. Talking so much shit. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? She's Why taking his I order need, again. Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. He's still Someone rubbing that burger on his face, like lady. Specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. The Sweetress is just standing here, that. watching this There's guy. just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Paka woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Anders Helmet. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. We've I been was there already. dismissed by the Queen of Fixers there. Rogue. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo Sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. Yeah, but we've got Johnny. Or Keanu. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. So then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. All right. Oh, hey there. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. It's so cool having Keanu Reeves in this game. There's not very many games that do this well. You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal, make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You can help me? Puh, please. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? 
trust me, rogues heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogel dance to any tune I play, or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. This doesn't look... Oh my god, look how much food this guy has! And he's just sitting here rubbing a burger on his face. This lady keeps coming over and taking his order, and he keeps ordering more shit, but he hasn't even fucking gotten more than halfway through this burger. Actually, the other half of the burger's right there, right? What the hell is that if it's not? <laughs> wow. Wow, I got a pizza I didn't need to. Fucking wasteful. At least she's thinking about eating her food. Although she does have something else right there. Why am I getting so many new jobs all of a sudden? Jesus Christ. <laughs> so many jobs. Alright, let's call Judy. See what's up. Oh, actually, let's look at these mess. Whoops. Got a Delta. Delta. <laughs> Thanks for calling me then. Okay. How do I. There we go. Can reply. Thanks, I'll check it out. Evelyn Parker, let's text her. Unable to deliver message. Mama Wells. Give Mama Wells a call. Hey. Good to hear you. Finally. Been a long time since we talk. Since when Jackie passed away. Call in to offer my condolences. Hmm? Offer your condolences? Ay, Jesus Christovi. You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. Let's go do that. I the forgot about that. Will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Ahí te veo, vi. Hey, look. Yeah. What is that? No. Oh, interesting. I don't Would remember. Look at that. You see it too, right? Either gone completely or I'm having a mystical moment. Car. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Nah. More likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. <sighs> Maybe ask them both. Interesting. Okay. I'm gonna call... Whoops. I'm gonna heal, apparently. I'm gonna call Judy really quick. You're not alone in thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me, too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? what I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. I'm gonna push it. You're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I won't? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. Don't be such a bitch, Judy. Can you get okay, uh before I do that, I'm gonna go meet God damn it. 
I'm gonna go to Jackie's funeral thing. There it is. For some reason I didn't think that was it. Where's it telling me to go? Oh, through here. Excuse me. I'm gonna take your shitty car. I'm doing you a favor, really. This handle's better than that van. Get out of my way, dude. Come on. Freaking drivers in this city. Look at these guys going the wrong way. Idiots. Someone put that shit there too? Not even the people who designed the city knew what they were doing. God damn. I guess I probably could use the fast travel. I actually could still use the fast travel, really. Oh my god. Okay, worked out. Reroll. Excuse me. Calculated. I see the cops just stand around. Assault in progress. Where? guys. There's a grenade for you. Did I just kill a civilian? This guy's got a fucking <laughs> skull for a health bar. I didn't even notice that. I shot him in the face with a shotgun like four or five times. I didn't do any damage. That's actually crazy. Real strong guy. Oh, cool. It checkpointed me right here. Fuck that. I'm not doing that. I don't even have my sword. That's the other thing I need to do. I need to go buy a sword somewhere. That's the... Coach Glenn who just texted me is the guy, I think, that does... Or started the fist fight mission. Excuse me, guy. Man, that guy was so drunk, he didn't even react when I hit him with a car. <laughs> hey, it's not my fault. Look, it, look at that! That was definitely not my fault. She ran right in front of my car. Goddamn insurance scammers. See, they figured out how to dodge my car. It's not that hard. See, that guy couldn't even see me and he knew to avoid it. Alright, I'm just gonna park right here. That should be fine. The gold table? We got to get rid of it. Really? It's pretty massive. So... Maybe we scooch it, put it up against the wall. I'll be right there. You gotta loot your bar first. I don't know if I've been here or not. V, nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? 
Damn straight I want a beer. See, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, I remember this bar. Eventually there's gonna be a guy right here that has missions for us or something. I remember that. This place is freaking empty. Can't go in there. All right. All right. Give me a beer. One mind one. Salud. Salud. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Hanging in there somehow? Somehow. You could have come over for dinner. Nuestra casa es tu casa. Hmm. But okay. We put it behind us. Hmm? I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Could help you with that? Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. I knew you wouldn't want my help because the dialogue option was blue. Wanna That's the only reason I saw it. I want to do it the right way, in line with tradition. Mm -hmm. But something I'd, I'd lay by his casket that would do justice to his memory, I, I don't got anything. But your heart is in the right place, mi niña. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. He's past this all there. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. I de veo. Everything rendered right as I open the door? That's a lot of garbage. I feel sorry for whoever uh, owns that door. Ivy. You here alone? This is not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was going to happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. That's a terrible way to look at it. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? <coughs> Hardly gonk at all. Just... Well, human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same street. That's right, we met Jackie Saw pretty recently, comparatively. Just never got together. Till a year back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Jack talked about you. A lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe, but... That's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant. Even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man. Easy to say, with harder dreams, to do. Ambitions. But only thing they cost still a nice thing to say. Life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set? 
You two didn't get that far. He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. Am I barefoot? Am I Mind naked? Me a hand? Uh. Hold on. I am. I am naked. What the fuck? What happened to all my clothes? I've been running around with my tits out this whole freaking time. There we go. Now I got some clothing on. Everything's locked because I have the outfit on. That's fine. I'm not sure I should go in there. I looked down and I was like, what? Soon. <laughs> no, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things. Disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie'd want you here. That's more important. Come on. It's... Pretty funny to imagine everything I've done so far in this episode. I, I was naked for all of that. I'm pretty sure. Like, talking to that cop. Yeah. <laughs> Put some new perspective in there. Wow, th look at this thing. It's rare to go. Fine piece of metal and mechanics. <laughs> he was so psyched. Scan. What's the, there we go. Couldn't remember what the scan button was. For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times, always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. You read it? Is it any good? I, I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectible. Oh man. They don't print them anymore. <laughs> it's definitely why they're up there, yeah. Oh, I got his key. And his rare item components. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? <laughs> Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. The he Dante Gonzalez? Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie? Mm -hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. <laughs> Gotta be hanging here since 2020. That's it. <laughs> Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it is a miracle he never wiped out. All right, well, let's check out his room. Oh, Jackie, is that a, a mandala? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey. You all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I'm guessing we're talking about this? 
I don't know what else we'd be talking about. It used to be tacos. And taco was... Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like, mini. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. <laughs> I would love to get a dwarf shark. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Jackie's favorite tequila. Still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sensan Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. How did Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe. Hmm. Nice still. I would like to take that. Hey, can I? No, I don't want to do that yet, though. I want the cards. God damn it. Gotta be Jackie's too dad. Afraid to try. Old school ganger. Valentino's, of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Looks aren't everything. Leather belt? Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why did he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. Doesn't sound like a great dad. Well, he's not gonna need that money. Um, God, there's so much stuff I could take. Well, not everything I scanned, but I think I could take that. I guess there's like two things. Oh no, never mind. I can take that basketball too. I'm gonna take this. Taking this, yeah. Perfect for Jackie. Mainly because oh, I want it. Something for your ofrenda, but we could look around a little more. I know we're gonna put it next to him, but. If I take that, will it cancel? Where are you going? Doesn't matter. Actually, I don't need to. Yeah. I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. You gotta come, Misty. Got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. It's so, true. Shall we go? Oh, wow, I talked her into it. I figured she was going to stay no matter what. I'll see you at the coyote then. I'm, I'm not that far ahead of you. You just walk super fucking slow. You ever thought you might leave like, Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning... Packed my bags and hopped on a plane to Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. I mean, I need, like, a fan sound to fall asleep, but... That's a little much. I guess don't need, but I really like to have one. Then go raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. De acuerdo. We haven't even met this guy. Looks like there's a couple people here that have, uh... Hey, it's good you're here. ...asked us to come We're by. about to start. Sit down, please. Maybe. Oh, hey there. This seems like the natural next thing to do, honestly. Right? Don't want to keep them waiting. 
beat the game and then go. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, no te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying. Make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true. Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Who's next? Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, ol, honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? Stand and say nothing or say... I'm gonna say something. I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. I'd been hired to drive him and some contraband across the border. He'd bought some goods, clept from Arasaka. Top secret. Priceless. A lizard. <laughs> and and I remember what he said then. That that I came from a place where everyone's family. So he must be too. Jackie Wells. Always hungry for more and never gave up. Not once. Once he set his mind on something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He... He once told me, Chica, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. Um... I'm gonna do this one. He always knew what he wanted and took it without asking. But most importantly, everyone saw Jackie as a grinning charmer who saw the good in everyone, everything. They were wrong. Jackie Wells was a hell of an ambitious chum who never gave up and whose drive cost him his life. But he did in life what he said he'd do. Reached for fortune and fame. No fear in his eyes or heart. He always wanted more than he got out of life. Rest easy, Chum. I would like to say a toast. Oh. 
favor, mi hijo. That Thank one's for you, for you Jackie. Words, I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offrenda we gave him. Why do we need to talk to the bartender? Pour you another? For Jackito? Pour. For Jackie. Ah. Amen, sister. I didn't get to drink because I gave it to Jackie, so... Makes sense, I guess. I think this is probably what happened either way, but... I'll have another. Have as many as you want. How many are we having? I'll have another. Have as many Come as you want. Torn up. Says he feels this is like gonna he take one of his own. three shots real quick. Torn up after you die. Oh, Don't go starting something. Weird. Not today. Being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar. In his favorite spot, where he always used to sit. Oh, wow. A whole bunch of people to talk to now. Alright, let's talk to Padre. Even though we haven't officially met him yet. wonder if the dialogue will reflect that. Here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre? I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. Jackie, did you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. The day his father left. The day he took you into his home. Yes, V. I knew him quite well. How are things in the streets? This is Couldn't not a not place to conduct business. Have some respect. Sorry. So, Padre... You think Jackie's looking down upon us from up there? I believe he has met God, stood before him. That's it? I don't know if God left the meeting happy, but I'm pretty certain Jackie did. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. Go with God. All right, let's talk to... Victor. Gonna miss him. I already do. <laughs> Me too, Chica. <sighs> Me too. Here's to Jackie. Got off to greener. Oh, pastures. yeah, I'll have another. Jackie Wells. Cheers. A proud son of Haywood. I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. She's a strong. Uh, Valentino's? Hey, you! Have a drink with us, hmm? Are you Wells? the Valentino's? Think we might know each other. Gustavo Horta. V. Yeah, I've heard about you. Well, heartfelt condolences, friend. From me, Campo. And all the Valentinos. Thank you. How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible book club. Yeah. I got only good memories of him. Look at the joints she's got. Rest easy up there, brother. You know she can double jump. All right, why not? To get nice and drunk. May he rest in peace. Good for now. Thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. Aye, right, give me a break. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Alright, where you at, mama? Right where I left you. A lot of people come today. 
Even that bodhika Jackie was messing around with. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. She was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. Do you know what? You're a good woman. Jackie would want you to have these. Is that the bike? Yeah, Thank I'll you. take it. I'm not rejecting I'll take that. Such good care of it. Cuidate be. Fuck yeah. Give me, give me the bike. I want the bike. Ah. <laughs> Look at that billboard. Oh my god. <laughs> um, where's? Where was the bike? Hold on. Because you could go out the back, right? Where, how did I, uh... Here we go. I think. Yeah. How do we get in there? Hello? I want my bike. Uh, I'm just dumb. Although it's way over there. Who's in charge of this? See no Captain. introductions necessary. Already took care of that. Someone comes to me with beers, I take care of it. I eat, sleep, and breathe beers. Remember that. I will. Hi, Captain. While we're at it, you need fresh wheels, bikes. I got it all. Real good prices. So hit me up anytime. You hear? Open stash. I did not know that was a thing. Or I forgot it was a thing. One of the two. Ah, I love having the spike, though. Um, what are we doing? Let's see. Actually, let's do this really quick, because I want to see what this mission is. Oh, pardon me. You know, we don't actually have it. Oh, there's a weapon shop. Almost forgot. I need to see if I can buy a uh, sword here. Thinking of buying some iron. You're thinking sound. Won't get. No sword, man. Come on. Just no swords. Um. How about? Can I craft one? Nope. How come I can't get a sword yet? Where did... It's annoying. I want a sword. Alright. Well, I'm just gonna assume I can't get one yet. I will not. Can you not run into me? What the hell, man? Just because I'm on the wrong side of the street? Corporate oppression will only end once you stop oppressing yourself. Remember that. Those fish look pretty cool. Just driving like every motorcycle driver drives. Fast travel. 
Perfect. That put me right where I needed a man. Yeah, let's talk to Vic first. How is this a new area? My debt is 21,000? Listen. Don't laugh, but... I'm seeing some weird shit around town. Like... Murals or... Something. But no, they're not real. Uh, just a Kiroshi blip. Could take a look. No. No, images are too complex for a blip. It's like they're... Symbols. That case is the biochip. Brain can't handle the data overload. Either that, or it's reached the cortex. Can you do anything? Nope. Better find a way to get rid of that chip. Ah, uh, shit. Can you sell me... something? No, I can't talk to you again? Hello? Can I not? Okay. Well, never mind. <laughs> I guess he's not gonna help me until I can pay off my $21,000 debt. Which I guess is fair? Saw a weird image out on the street. Seems like your line of work. What'd it look like? Grab the scan, take a look. Tarot. Enemy Major hack. Arcanum. What you saw was a sign from a higher power. The, uh, the what, what the now? fuck? Major Arcanum? Tarot card, archetype, knowledge held in symbolic form, a stage in your journey through life. Take your pick. Either way, you're saying some higher powers talking to me through tarot cards? Or to Silverhand. Or both of you, seeing as you form a harmonious whole at the moment. Be a little easier if this higher power learned to be direct. Well, the world is a maze of illusions. It's not easy for the light to shine into the prison of our earthly existence. Right, great. What a hippie so thing to say. What do I do with a sign I can't understand from a power I know nothing about? I'd start by looking for more of them. The tarot describes a road, so go down it. Still don't know what I'm supposed to do with what I find. Look for more images. They must have some connection to the place where you find them. Think about what you see. You ask me? They've been sent to help you find the truth. Oh, finding the truth is pretty far down on my list at the moment. A difficult time is coming when you'll have to choose which road to take. Then, you'll understand. Dunno. Come on back when you found more. Sounds like a bunch I'll of mystic mumbo jumbo. What did I tell you? No! Nah, Chimamai needs to work. They're not even human! Vampires! The lot! Their bodies, they never age! Gary the Prophet. their eyes, cold and dead. Their corporation exists only as cover for their wicked means to live or rather to I feel like I remember this undead. guy I tell you now the world is I thought I could talk to him but I guess not What is that on the map right there What the hell is that Look it looks like a cop doesn't it that like blue icon Can I talk to him? Their corporation exists only as cover for their wicked means to live, or rather, it to remain up. undead. I tell you now, Saburo is not gone from our world. He rests undisturbed in the family crypt. He feasts on the blood of his servants. Right, oh. so Saburo is definitely dead. Like, trust me on this. Such conviction. You witnessed his death with your own eyes. 
What just so happens, I... Yes. Uh, no. No, I, I did not. I sure did. Ah, you see? You see? Just freaking tell him. But how could mere mortals become these death-defying abominations, you ask? With the help of techno-necromancers from Alpha Centauri! It was their tainted blood Saburo Arasaka drank to transform himself into this devil spawn. Gary, you can't spill Arasaka's secret. They gonna find you. Let them. The seed has been sown. The truth shall sprout roots and lift us from the invader's clutches. I don't know, guy. I'm not so sure. I recognize you. You come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. I do Will not come here often. provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? Humble sounds affordable. Just don't spend it on stupid shit. Thank you. This has bought me a day or two. One credit? If you turn a blind eye to their existence, they have already won. Are you going to give me more dialogue? All right, I want to see what this is really quick. God damn it! It's above me. Okay, the two options are ground level and roof. No in between. It still says it's above me, but there's also stairs. Oh, it's another one of these. Huh. Okay, so that's what that icon means. I didn't realize. Obviously. There's so many of these. The shards. Maybe I'll do a cyberpunk lore reading. Back down to the alley. Uh, and we're out of here. Do you truly believe that those were sold to your mechanics higher? Why does it want me to punch him? <laughs> you DTF? Uh oh. Locked. I'm not clear on why that guy was here, but now oh, he's been knocked out. Who are you? What do you think this is, huh? Oh my god, dude. He, t he shot me twice. All I did was punch you, man. What a what a dick. Can I like This one is for you. Take cover! <laughs> he just didn't take any damage from that. That's insane. That was a grenade, dude. Landed right at his feet. Wrong button. Wrong button. There we go. This is the guy I attacked attacking me. Can I, why is my bike way over there? I'm just gonna fast travel. No, can't do it. What? You stupid bike! <laughs> Heal! Am I not on the bike? Oh my god. How did I not get on the bike? <laughs> just like walking forward with something in my hand. I think I must have like opened the trunk or something. I think I can just click it now that I think about it. This is for you! It wasn't me, man. See you later. 
Look how much damage that guy does. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why can't I heal? I thought I could heal on a bike. Pardon me? Oh, my God. Um... Let's do one of these. Let's go... What do we have? Go meet with Judy and go to the afterlife. Let's go to the afterlife. Calculated. Oh, cold blood. Nice. Here. Hey, don't steal my bike. Wow, she's checking me out. Look at that. <laughs> she's just walking right over it. How about you? Yep, just gonna walk right over it. Okay. Are you guys doing drugs? Losers. How's things? Let's talk to Claire. Chuma mine earned a spot on the menu here. A chulo bowl with the bun? Yeah, I was sorry to hear. Remember his drink? The recipe? Vodka on the rocks, lime juice, and ginger beer. <sighs> Splash of love. That's right. In the drink's name. A Jackie Wells. Right. Well, the first Jackie Wells is on me. Could definitely go for a drink. Give me a Jackie Stop Wells. Down. Like any other. So, what'll it be? Do I have to look through all of these to find it? If she even has it. So that's the Johnny Silverhand. There it is. Jackie Wells. Give me one of those. And it was free. Perfect. Thanks, Claire. It no wasn't problem. free? What a liar. <laughs> Fucking liar. No. This trouble... Net around me? You woke it. You oh, it's it. uh. I lost everything. Let me be you. plain again. Solve your own problems. Clean up you your own shit. Up? Go fuck yourself. Be careful who you bargain with. Pan Am, that's right. Rogue, wanted to talk. It's okay. Hmm. Not here, not there. Who are you? Name's V. And what is it you want, V? All these years, it's really her. Fucking rogue, just kicking it back on a couch at the afterlife. Don't mess with her, she's got MRIs. See right through you. Give her the truth. MRIs? <laughs> Pick up a pace. Need your services. Gotta track a guy down. Mm-hmm. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer worked for Arasaka. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? <laughs> Thanks. Jump in too soon. First, my help's got a price. Second and third, Dexter Deshawn, Jackie Wells, T-Bug. Multiple bells ringing, V. Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. Chalk that up to bad luck? There's the bitch I know. Ask her about Sokka Tower. How they shot me up right in front of her. Wanna go through a bit? Really? You got Johnny killed. Johnny Silverhand. Zeroed inside our Sokka Tower. Before your very eyes. Got more if you want. Or we could just talk. Got nads on you, girl. Don't like that on every woman, but they seem to suit you. 
Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. Mm -hmm. See? I don't have 15,000. Uh huh. And if I don't have the what? scratch, it's fuck off and have a nice day. No, more like come back when you do. Them's the brakes. Silverhand, help mm -hmm. me out. Then, see ya. Soon. You know where to find me. Come on, Silverhand. You're fucking useless. Hey, you interested in some art? Are you gonna pay me for it? How convenient. Doing what? A business opportunity. Cargo transport. Get from A to B, quick and quiet. Interested? Sure. I'm listening. It's simple. You go to the Kabuki waterfront, collect the package, give me a call, then I tell you how to deliver it. Very straightforward. Mm -hmm. Everything except my pay. Don't worry, there's a bonus in it for you. Imported and duty-free. Duty-free and detail-free. Yes, but altogether fair. It's a simple job, generously compensated. Do you accept? Yeah, sure, I'm in. Good, I knew we'd find acceptable terms. Head to the Kabuki waterfront, then search for a fridge with the words, no future. Sounds good. Once you locate it, collect what you find inside, then call me for further instructions. Mm -hmm. Till then, I guess. I hope this pays 15,000 eddies. Out of the way, sluts. What up? Are you... Who are you cheering for? Me? She's cheering for me. She's not cheering for you, guy. Who are you, what are you punching the air? You idiot. You know what? You know what? Idiot. Wasn't me. <laughs> Actually, I'm coming back. I want your car. I'm assuming this is your car. This handle's okay. So far, that van has been by far the worst. Entering a new area. Kabuke. Look like that's that Bel Air. Damn it. Wrong way. Backing up. The waterfront. Let's grab this refrigerator. Oh, sorry guys. Maybe don't be on the road next time. I don't know what to tell you. Am I stuck? What's happening? I can't move. I can't drive through here? That is very strange. I guess I'll get out. Lost the cops. Easy peasy. Oh, easy peasy. You're not looking so good, guy. Want me to help you out? Up, oh, you're lucky. I'm getting a phone call. Can you talk? It is important. What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. Old friend, well connected to the influential. Why so mysterious? Get to the point. I told you once I would explore options, 
knock on many doors. There will be a meeting. You, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me. The truth of events at Kompiki Brother. I have little hope that he will be convinced. But it will be a start. Sounds good. Fine. Where's the meeting when? I believe him. Japan Town. After sunset. I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. All right. Let's grab this. You all right, guy? I'll take that as a no. He quenches his thirst at the watering hole. While waiting for your arrival, he takes shelter in the shade of the cherry blossoms. The fox is cautious that she'll emerge when it is sure that the water was not poisoned. Who is Takamura? Oh, it's that guy. Amateur Merc, yes, it's Takamura. I'm using a burner via secure connection. I figured it'd best use the secret code I created. I suspect it might be beyond your abilities. Meet me at the docks. On Channel Street, Japan Town. Come at night. If nobody has followed you, I will show myself. <laughs> There's a saying in our country, in your country. One moment it will come to me. Ah, now I remember. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Found the fridge. That was absurdly easy. Uh, can I open it? There we go. Oh wait, is this not it? I could have sworn it said no future on it. Maybe not. I guess that's not it. How many refrigerators are down here, huh? Oh, that says no future. Can you leave me alone? Oh, oh, hey, guy. Shit. He's in rough shape, but alive. Let's hear what Dennis has to say. Hey, got a status? Find the package? He's a little worse for wear, but no issues. What's next? I prepared a car for you. Put the man in the trunk and head to Northside. The address is in the GPS. Okay. One more thing. Watch for tigers. They've got their sights trained on your new companion. I was green. Wait, wait, what? Who's hung up? Who are tigers? All right. Well, you're coming with me, guy. I don't know who you are, but don't mind me. This he's drunk. He's drunk. I'm just getting him home. You know. Nope. Nope. You don't see me. Let's see. Go this way then. How do you see me? How do you see me? God, that was close. I can't move very fast scaring this guy. That almost screwed me. Is there a way out this way? Can I go this way? Do I have to go through these bodyguards? Oh, that one moved. Oh man, another back. God damn it. I gotta wait for him to move again. There we go. Pardon me. Nothing to see here. Oh. Back up. 
Okay, she moved. Go, go, go. How do I get past these two? Are you kidding me? Cause like a distraction, maybe. Fuck off before I start screaming. I'm pretty sure that civilian's yelling at me. If I go that way, I'm gonna get shot. So hold on. Huh? <laughs> I'm just gonna assassinate this guy. And then he turned around. All right. Okay, can I go this way? Oh, there are people everywhere. And yes, I can. I think she's gonna move, right? Didn't she just walk up here? Move, lady. Or guy, or... Cyborg, I don't know. Just move. Just gonna fucking stand there. God damn it. I don't think I want to drop down there either. Okay, no, they did move. Perfect. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh my god, there are cops right there. Right by where I have to walk. The car is literally right there. Is that my car? Oh no, the cops are above me. No, this isn't... I don't think. That might have been my car. Ironically. Are you kidding me? Look at the people in this city, I swear. We went this way because it looked like there were a bunch of people watching the other way. Also, this this car handles like jello. I'm guessing it's going to give us an option here. Can you not get in my way like that? Gotta lose the caps. In fact, I don't know how they still see me. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm just blending in. What is up, fellow... non-crime doers? Glad to see ya. Kill me. Or not kill me, hurt me. Call my bike. Where's my bike? I'm making a mad dash because these cops are still following me. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. <laughs> That'll do it. Okay, I lost the cops. Ooh, got some air on that one. 
tell, man. Oh, one of his cars must have been nearby. Uh-oh. Job's done. I see that. Well done. Excellent work. That's a sword. Holding in there all right, Hariyoshi? They need to give me hope. This is all very heartwarming, but you haven't paid me yet. I know. Here. May this blade serve you well. That's what I'm talking about. What's your name again? Green Sanjonto. World Best. Good to instinct. Where are you from exactly? Green Sanjonto. World Best. Good to instinct. Is that like a Scrubs reference? I feel like it's a Scrubs reference. Alright, now I can equip. the sword right where is it ah uh, yeah look at this bad boy all right we got our first sword that's what's up i can't oh yeah duh trying to get in that car, but that's the mission car. I can't... Oh, it just wouldn't let me drive forward. I still can't drive forward? There we go. Was my front tire popped or something? Alright, what am I doing here? Main jobs. Meet with Judy. Collect 15,000. Meet with Takamura. Yeah, we'll meet with Judy really quick. What a stop. Hey! Haven't I seen you here before? Damn straight. Got a good memory for faces. Here for a good time. Always. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She and her den. Yep. Take the stairs down. What I'll let Judy know you're coming. <sighs> Safe area. Shut up. Stop telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. Talk to her. Wanted to ask you something. It'll only take a sec. Not now. Later, okay? Fine. Bitch. Where are we going? Right here. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Moxes and nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community, solidarity. Classic dilemma. What comes first? Family or the outside world? This is world? a club. Nobody cares about your lofty world views. Listen. Have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Everyone's being so mean today. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. <laughs> Seem to know how the heist went. Meaning you did talk to her. I know how you fucked up. Got all your Doombas killed like a real pro. That wasn't my fault. Caught some lead myself, too. Boo hoo. Occupational hazard for you, Mercs. 
else? Like, where'd she go? Do this for fun? Talking around in circles? Trying to make this simple. Just tell me where she is. Why can't you? I don't trust you. That's simple. Sure, I took a risk. We Why did, not? But it was Evelyn who gave it to us in the first place. She knew what this was from the start. Fine. Looks like we're all in this piss pot together. But you're desperate. Writing's on your face. Okay. Let's just say I'm pretty much fucked. Biochip we clept during the heist is killing me, albeit slowly. Evie commissioned the job. I know how to stop that. That's why I need to know who hired her. Huh. Let's say I believe you. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. I'd look for her there. And where is that? Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Give me that shit. Mega Tower. <laughs> Luxurious. Wait. What? Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay. Should I be a dick about it? Give you a call. Okay. I'll be nice to her. Thanks. Thank you, V. Judy's the best, or a... A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram and a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? True, true. just woke up one day looking like this this is real life not no fairy tale i'm a woman that's a sacrifice it's hard work never easy you don't say see i've always been a woman oh so this is what fucking sororal solidarity looks like now locker room digs welcome to real life sister your words no mine Got him. What are you staring at? Got something to say? Say it. I think you look like a bitch. Uh, heated exchange there with Judy. What was that all about? How's this any of your business? Gonna follow up with your own sermon on responsibility for others? Go on, your high horse is waiting. I'm just curious. One thing I know about curiosity won't get you shit unless you got the fists and the ass to back it up. <laughs> well, I expected that dialogue option to do a little more than that. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Nobody can hold a candle to Judy. Cuts virtues like they were diamonds. Damn straight. All right, that's going to do it for another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, hold on. Call me Mr. Hands. It's Mr. Hands. You're looking for Pacifica jobs. Call me. Name's V. And what? No pleased to meet you? Hm. I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me. <laughs> well, before he interrupted me... I was going to say, that's going to do it for this episode of Cyberpunk 2077. After I uh, go get this graffiti, or this uh, tarot card. Hmm. What's this? <laughs> it's a good episode. Did uh, the funeral for Jackie, some other stuff. We're keeping going with the main mission. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the next one. I'll see you then.